Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is hacking a congressman's phone. If you follow all the headlines today, the big news seems to be how attackers hacked a congressman's phone. And this is all based on a segment in last week's 60 Minutes over the weekend. Basically, 60 Minutes had a 12-minute segment showing how bad guys or malicious attackers could actually hack your phone just by its phone number. Long story short, a German researcher showed that if he could get the phone number to a mobile phone like this congressman's phone, he could track it geographically he could listen in on all the calls, and he could gain all the text messages. However, to do all this, the researcher had to exploit weaknesses in the carrier protocol called SS7, or Signaling System 7. Now, if you're a regular viewer, this all may seem like deja vu, and that's because I covered a really similar story way back in August of last year. Back in August, the Australian 60 Minutes basically had this same segment where they showed how a security researcher, at the time it was Tobias, had used these vulnerabilities in SS7 to actually track a phone and listen to its messages. So really, this is the exact same story, just the US 60 Minutes is covering it and it's getting some more US news. If you don't remember that video, I highly recommend you check it out and listen to it since really most of the takeaways are the same. Now the big thing this story doesn't really detail much is the fact that SS7 is a carrier protocol. Gaining access to SS7 isn't something that a typical man in the street can do. In order for this researcher to actually leverage this flaw, the German uh, telecos had to actually give him access to this protocol. So while it's true that uh, the vulnerabilities in SS7 could allow people with carrier grade access to, to gain information about all the phones out there and perhaps nation states could use that to track citizens, it's something that is going to be kind of hard for criminals to leverage. Now in my last video I talked about different ways where people that weren't carriers might gain access to SS7, but they all require hacks on top of this particular hack. In any case, the US 60 minute segment is kind of interesting. I highly recommend you check out my link to it and watch it. Besides talking about this SS7 flaw, they also talk about other common flaws like for instance fake wireless networks being used to attract cell phones and things like that. Long story short, interesting story, I recommend you check it out, but do know that this SS7 vulnerability isn't really something the standard user can do anything about, and it's not something a typical criminal can exploit. That's it for today's story, thank you for watching.